Well, without even thinking about it, a man from western New York rushed into an icy creek to save a dog in Tonawanda earlier this week. To On Your Sides, Emily Lampa has more on what happened and introduces us to the man now being called a hero. When people call you a hero, how do you respond to that? Uh, I'm not really a hero. Military, is that's hero. I'm just a person that was in the right place at the right time. Don Chatton from Niagara Falls may not think himself a hero, but that's exactly what he's being called by those who frequent the Ellicott Island Bark Park in Tonawanda. Uh, that guy's my superhero, but it's so nice to know that there would be anybody that would do that. And it wasn't even his dog. You know, I couldn't imagine. For someone to do that, I think it's it's wonderful, especially yeah. with the, the ice and the cold. It's a pretty amazing. This truck driver from Niagara Falls comes to the Bark Park at least a couple times a week with his dogs, Milo and Duke. And he says he was about to leave the park yesterday when someone came up to him at the gate asking if he'd seen a small black terrier named Jackson. He and several other dog owners spread out to search. The dog stopped and he looked down, so I thought maybe it was a duck. Or, um, I didn't know what it was. Then I heard the, the, the dog whimper. I looked down and I spotted him, ran back into the park. It was on the ice at the base of the bridge near the entrance to the park that Chatton spotted Jackson. I knew he didn't have a long because he was just a small dog and I didn't know how long he was in there. So, And there wasn't anybody around. So, I mean, the, the, the my instinct was just to jump in and, and try to get him out as quick as I could. Chatton says he knew it was shallow water because he was familiar with the area, having been to the park many times since he was a kid. And heading out onto the ice was a risk he was willing to take. I crawled on the ice and it started to give way, so I was like, oh no. So I knew I had to break the ice to get to him. I got to the dog, pulled him out by his collar, and worked my way back. News of his actions quickly spread on social media after fellow park goers captured the rescue on camera. Did you expect this kind of a reaction no. after everything that's happened? No, uh, not at all. Chatton gives his dogs all the credit. Duke, a rescue dog from Puerto Rico displaced by Hurricane Maria, and Milo, a rescue from West Virginia. Fitting that the rescues are now rescuers. I mean, my two, two dogs are the ones that really the heroes. I've just I just did the dirty work. Emily Lampa, Channel 2 News.